It's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with another episode of Lock Talk. To get caught up on my Lock Talk series, make sure you check my playlist. I'll have it links below. Now before I get into the first question, I want to show you two of my ear cuffs that I'm wearing. One green floral and one artistic design. Check out lovelightlockstarstoryenvy.com to get yours. They are flexible and adjustable to your ear shape and size, okay? I have a demonstration video on how to wear it if you're curious. All right, so our first question comes from Not Forgotten, and Not Forgotten writes, Great channel, I'm about a year into the process. I only retwist with water now, but I still have to use clips because I'm afraid that the twist will come undone before it dries. Right now, I always have to clear out the previous parting because of marriages that are happening. I assume this is due to me washing every two weeks while retwisting every four weeks. Your parts seem perfect and forever present, even after a wash. Do you remember if you had that marriage problem earlier in your lock journey? For the most part, yes, my parts do remain after my washes. Like right now, I washed my hair yesterday and I did not retwist. And yeah, as you can see, my, yeah, as you can see, my hair has not been retwisted and my parts have remained. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, my locks are not twisted, but my parts are all there. And I strongly believe the reason why my parts have stayed so distinct all throughout the years is that in the beginning of my lock process, maybe for the first couple years, I was very adamant on my retwisting every two weeks. Every two weeks I washed and retwisted, washed and retwisted. I never washed without retwisting and I never retwisted without the wash. And I really believe that that's the reason why my parts were trained to stay parted. I did not experience marriaging in the beginning of my lock journey. I've only experienced marriaging as I, as my locks got more mature because I, that's when I got more confident in just wearing it and letting it do what it do. And like I've gone, you know, extended amounts of time without retwisting. And then those are the times when I experience some marriaging. And you're gonna have to determine what extended means to your hair, for your hair. If you're retwisting once every four weeks and you keep experiencing marriages in your locks, every four weeks is not even a long time, it's not that long. Um, and if you're experiencing really bad marriaging, then four weeks is extended and that might be too long for you to go without a retwist. Maybe try doing every three weeks if that works a little better for you or your schedule. Also, I think that how often you massage and how vigorously you massage your roots, that's going to play a part in the marriaging of your hair at the roots. If you're too rough, and you're too vigorous, I can imagine, I can just imagine how your hairs are gonna intertwine with the wrong locks and that's gonna cause marriaging. That's gonna happen when you're massaging your scalp, when you're oiling it, and when you're massaging your scalp, when you're washing it. So you wanna be careful on how rough you are with it. Be careful, be careful. Our hair is delicate. I mean, yeah, it's, our hair is pretty strong in comparison to many other people's hair, but it's still hair. You want to treat it like hair. You want to treat it like fine fabric. And you won't, you wouldn't hand wash fine fabric like that, would you? At least I hope not. You're wasting your money. Thanks for your question. Not forgotten. The next question comes from Brie80056. Please help me. I love your videos and your locks. I am seven months locked and every time I do a retwist, it never stays long enough for my roots to lock up. How do I get my roots to lock with the rest of my hair? And also, do you go without washing your hair after a fresh retwist to give your roots time to lock with the rest of your hair? Please help me or do a video. I'm desperate and even if I I always feel like I have difficulty explaining this to people because I feel like it kind of just seems like common sense, but maybe not, not for everyone. But you, got, you wanna keep in mind, don't forget, like your locks take months to a year, several months to a year to actually lock. And your roots are constantly growing. 
So your hair at the roots will never be locked unless you interlock your hair. But your roots will never be locked because you're constantly growing new roots. You know what I mean? You retwisting your hair, that does several things. That helps to form the shape of your lock, the, sh the cylinder shape of it. And it also helps keep your hairs in the right direction. It helps to train your hairs to stay within that one lock and not, you know, combining with another lock. And retwisting also just gives that neat look if that's what you're going for. But retwisting does not lock. I believe every month our hair grows approximately a quarter to a half an inch, right? So as our hair grows out and our new growth becomes old growth. So like, look at, look for example, as the months go on, it will grow out and, it, and the black roots will eventually become like they locks right here and that's when they actually lock when they are matured for months to a year does that make sense i always get like unsure how i explain that but don't worry you're not weird it's normal your locks and your roots are not gonna lock it's okay unless you interlock you know so if you really want locked roots then look into interlocking get a latch hook or use a safety pin. I know some people use safety pins. Um, it is kind of easier than a latch hook, but I just don't really like the idea of putting a the pin through my locks. Uh. Um, you can also um, use your finger if you will. That's not going to really give you a tight, a tight um, interlock, but it, it'll help. Um, yeah. But again, thanks for your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my store, lovealocks.storyv.com. Check out my website, kishacharmaine.com, to see everything that I do. Follow me on Instagram at Killa Does That, and all, all links are below. Check out my old videos. Yeah. I really appreciate you all. Love, light, and locks.